So this video is going to be on graphs of motion without numbers. Sometimes it's a lot of fun to make a graph and not have to worry about the numbers. So we're going to graph a story and we're going to make two graphs. One time versus position and the other time versus speed. So, um, and we're actually going to be graphing Little Red Riding Hood and so we'll be graphing Little Red Riding Hood's motion. So, um, Little Red Riding Hood set out for Grandmother's Cottage at a good walking pace. So she started from zero at a good walking pace. That means time and position, okay, it's going to increase, okay? And that means we've got an intermediate speed going here. She stopped briefly to talk to the wolf. So when she stops, okay, for a short amount of time, position is not going to change because she stopped. When she stops, her speed goes all the way to zero, and it's only for a short amount of time. Okay? She walked a bit slower because they were talking as they walked through the wildflowers. So, she's going to be going slower, so the angle is going to be more shallow. Okay, so now she's going slower. So, she's going slower. And then she stopped to pick flowers for quite a while. So it's going to be flat for a long period of time. And it's going to be flat there for a long period of time. Realizing she was late, she ran the west of the way to Grandma. So all of a sudden, very steep change in position with time because she's running. And up here, the speed has to be higher than that. So there you go. When this is flat, she stopped. The sharper the angle, the faster she's going. If she stopped, we have to come all the way to zero speed here. And these lines correspond with the speed. Thanks for watching.